So that's it's clear, it's clearly a specialist. But again, when you try those kind of stuff, and I'm against that, you can look uh, like a stupid person when you when you miss it. I, again, the only thing you have to think about when you shoot a penalty is to score the goal, not to play with the goalkeeper, not to try to trick the goalkeeper. It's to put the ball in the net. That's the only thing uh, which counts. Definitely in his head, isn't it? You think well, so? Bear, bear in mind he cost his country a place at the World Cup mm -hmm. effectively by not scoring that late penalty in the, the final qualification. So do the people around him then need to say, hey, don't take more penalties? I mean, isn't that down to the manager? Well, teammate, captain, whoever it might be. I mean, bear in mind this game didn't mean a lot. Uh, in fact, it meant pretty, pretty little, apart from trying to get back on track. I'm neither here nor there with it. Uh, you know. But there's, a, there's an important penalty coming for Chelsea at some point. Do you want Jorginho yeah, standing the, over the it? The important penalty might be, in, well, they've only won competition left, they can, they can, <laughs> which is an FA Cup final. So, yeah, it could come down to that. And, and no, it's something that they might have to revisit. Uh, because clearly he was the most super confident guy taking penalties and, and now he's missed two or three big ones. Uh, this is not a particularly big one, but it's just, just sort of highlights it again. And it's definitely in his head. It's a psychological thing. It's not a technique. It's psychological. Start doubting yourself. It's a little you know bit of technique, feeling? Do you right? know that feeling when you start doubting yourself? I know. We are when I work with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, big FA Cup final coming up. I think more importantly for Chelsea... Poor against Arsenal, uh, got beaten. Uh, not great again today. Can't let the season run flat till May 14th, which is when the FA Cup final is. Mm -hmm. Thomas Tuchel's got a job to pick his team up to make sure that they're going into that with some momentum. Mm. Thomas Tuchel got bailed out today, Don, by Christian Pulisic, didn't he? <laughs> he did. Uh, it was a shock of a pen, but... Pulisic off the bench, got the job done. It wasn't a great game, in all honesty. Um, Chelsea off flat. They're missing Kovacic. I'm not sure you can play Jorginho in the centre of the park and then Ruben Loftus-Cheek as a wing-back together. They slow the play down far too much. But as Craig said, they need some sort of momentum trying to get close to an FA Cup final. It's the only thing they've got to play for. They've got to try and win some games. At the back, they're not solid. There's loads of stories about different players leaving and the young players like Chalabar playing and... Maybe Saar needs to do a little bit more because he's a bright young player that's going through a tough time. But you watch Chelsea at the minute and they are really flat. Mm. Uh, some interesting comments from Thomas Tuchel after the match on Christian oh. Pulisic, who did get the, as I mentioned, oh, well. game winner. Uh, but he kind of explained why Pulisic has been dropped from the Ooh. starting lineup recently because this is, I think, on, the fifth or me. sixth. Enlighten uh, me. It's fifth or sixth game that he's, that he's not started after he had been pretty much a, a lockdown starter for a month or so. Pulley struggled a little bit since he came back from international break, where I think he had three matches and incredible amounts of journeys and time zones to cope with. From there, he struggled a bit energy-wise. That was my impression on and off the pitch. Sometimes it is like this. Does that mean that international duty has cost him his starting spot? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. That's what I take away from that quote. Oh. Is that fair? Well, he's... Well, look. You have to handle the trials and tribulations of travel. It just so happens he's, you know, for us, most of us, we were travelling around Europe. Uh, he has to travel transatlantic. That's part of the uh, part of the deal. So, so yeah, it, it, it can affect players. Uh, you know, I'm I'm glad Thomas Tuchel is making the statement to sort of end the uh, the, the the paranoid. <laughs> uh, group of uh, people over here, this side of the pond, uh -huh. who think everybody is anti-American when somebody doesn't play. Mm -hmm. uh, but usually a manager has deeper, more important, more realistic factors than that. And it usually is, you know, a player's form, a player's welfare. And what can he state in mind, uh, Christian Pulisic said. So, yeah, I mean, we're, once again, we're having this chat mm -hmm. about whether Pulisic plays or not. I, I, don't, I don't signal Christian Pulisic out over any player at Chelsea or any other club. The manager picks his team, and so be it. Mm. Am, I, am I being clear? No, I, yes, you're being clear. Frank, uh, should international duty be something that costs a player a spot in the 11? It, it, it can happen, as uh, Craig said, if you uh, travel transatlantic. But uh, in that, in that uh, especially comment from, uh, from uh, Thomas Tuchel, I, I, I hear that, uh, and I understand that, in fact, Pulisic doesn't digest uh, jet lag, where uh, Thiago Silva, who is 37, hmm. um, can play in Brazil, can travel, can go back and play. 
So it says a lot, you know. <laughs> so uh, I think when you're 37, you normally have more trouble traveling transatlantic, uh, which is, doesn't seem the case for Thiago Silva, understanding to the comment of uh, Mr. Tucker. Don, why are you shaking your head? It's just absolute waffle. I mean, is this the same Thomas Tuchel that's turning around blaming the pitch when they lost against Real Madrid? Mm. And then blamed the pitch and he said, oh, the pitch is not the same pitch like it is at Cobham when they lost 4-2 against Arsenal. I mean, he's a bright man, Thomas Tuchel. I understand exactly what he's trying to say, but it's just waffle. We flew all around the world and you play games and you suck it up and you get on with it and you, you're playing in the Premier League or you're playing for your country. You find some energy. You don't just, like, wilt and go, ah, oh, I... I flew halfway around the world. I'm a little bit tired, boss. I can't play for two or three weeks. Nonsense. Just play. I don't Get think. It. I don't think this would have been coming from from Christian Pulisic. But I think I, I agree with Don in some sense that this is this is code for. It's amazing how a manager sees a player who lacks some energy, and that's his explanation. That's code for you're not playing this week mm. because you haven't been playing particularly well. So I'm not picking you, and he'll give you some sort of. Uh, boulder dash excuse uh, about how the flying's going to affect you and all that. When ultimately he just doesn't want you in the team. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. It's part of the job. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.